We're going to start, uh, today is August 28th, 2017. We're going to be opening our meeting here for conservation. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to welcome our newest member, uh, Mark Saltier. 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 Yes, okay, and I will do that right now. I defined it. <laughs> Um, please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. Okay. Um, and again, sorry, I'm a little bit out of uh, way there. Mark, yeah, but I just want to make sure we get yes, that in. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so welcome, Mark. Um, to conservation, and then we'll I don't do. See you snuck in <laughs> yep, we have another Mark over there. Um, do you want to do a roll call? Do you guys usually do a roll call? Uh, yeah. Everyone mm -hmm. who's here? Mark Clark. Mark Sotir. Scott Long. Hart Edgerton. And Sharon McNamara. Um, first part of business tonight is uh, the mail. So did everybody get an opportunity to sort of go through all of that? Everybody's good on that. Uh, one of the things I think Rachel is going to add to that as well is just something for us to sign. We talked about that last time. Didn't we? Some, uh, the next time? Right. Yep, no, that's fine. We'll just have a little sign in sheet that we've all had an opportunity to read it. So at least that way there we know. I, just want, I think everyone heard me talk about this water bill. That we get a water bill from the town even though we don't have any water. Okay. Yep, so the forms to be signed. There were a bunch of forms in there, part of the mail that we just signed. So what was the water bill thing? It's in other words, we, the house that on that one Lottie that property. Lottie property. We've taken the meter out, shut the water off because we're not keeping the house heated, yep. but we still get a minimum water bill irregardless. And, mm -hmm. uh, we investigated it last the end of the last week and we found out that the water department gets bills like that for their place and the school does and the library. Everybody does a mm -hmm. seven. We decided we better yeah. not. It's minimal too, yeah. right? I mean, I yeah, it's fifteen dollars. When you don't yeah. pay it, you get another ten dollars and another thirty five cents please. on top. <laughs> so we'll make sure we pay that one on time. Um, so is that the, the house? It must be winterized and everything else, though, right? Well, yeah, we were, we were last year. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, were there any other questions about any of the mail or anything that anyone wanted to discuss? No. Okay, so we can just move on from there, right? But let's see. We, our first um, hearing isn't until 7:40, so we have a little bit of time in there. In that case, I got some business stuff. I'd like to issue a certificate of compliance for SE 56953, which is 105 Furnace Lane, the Dora House house rent, and down <coughs> there the new house in there on a different set of footprints and orders. It's all done. I was there. Inspected it here at the end of the last, or the middle of the last week. Okay. And I think everybody, I don't know if everybody signed, it's four signatures there, right? I'm yep. just four there, so I don't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? All right, well, we've got a few minutes before we go. Let's get into Birch Street. Okay. We have a request for a certificate of compliance for both 92 and 98 version. So Bob, this is the one that... Um, yes, you don't want, you want to yep. make your statement. Yeah, you so I just feel that it's probably in the best interest just for me to sort of see from this one. Do you guys agree? I was the listing agent on this property when this property was being these two houses were being built. Um, I wasn't the listing agent, I was the broker. Um, so Boston Connect Real Estate was the company. It was a different agent. The agent's no longer in our office, uh, but I just feel that since I was there, I should probably abstain from this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's what these the two letters that we've passed around are about. Uh, just as a point of order on that, you be recusing yourself from discussion in general in the vote or just the vote if there's any voting to do because um, you might have some valuable information about the history of that I'm yeah I mean I'm, I'm happy to be if you all want me to be part of the discussion I can be yeah. but I certainly don't yeah. want to vote yeah. on it yeah and then I'm part of the discussion on abstaining from the vote yeah 
and then since you are the co-chair, you can take direction from there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Remember that was voted in before, so. I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> I do, it's on tape. <laughs> Remember everything is recorded. Uh, you have that, right? <laughs> so, I'm just going to catch myself up on this, but if you want to start your discussion, do you want these? Yeah, and the things are the requests. Yeah, no, or they... Oh, I didn't know I should want it. I thought you were just coming. Oh, I just wanted to show it. Just so I could find it. All right, well, no, no, that, Rachel, we didn't have that. We didn't have to get mixed up with that. These, the people that have these two properties, the uh, mother and the son, they new houses, nice houses. Uh, there's a whole lot of problems with a lot, as you can read from from there, and uh, it, as you can tell, it's going to end up in a legal battle. I have no doubt. And all uh, they've asked for a, uh, the lawyers are looking for, or wondering why a certificate of compliance wasn't granted. Well, you can't grant it for something that isn't done correctly and isn't finished or anything else. But they still wanted a, something that they at least asked for it, and so they have. Filed the asking papers, asking for a certificate of compliance, and I looked it over, and, and we've never denied one that I can ever remember. But you know, there's no way we can issue one either. So I would like to move that on both of these cases, uh, 56 929 and 930, that we deny. Uh, a certificate of compliance for lack of positive information on general conditions 1, 4B, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, and special conditions 1, 2, 4, 10, 13, 14, 15, and 16. They're all conditions that are in the uh, a lot of conditions that have not been met or were not met or were just completely ignored while they were building it. And so that allows us at least to answer these people's requests for a certificate and they can you know, run with whatever they have from, from that point on. It appears, and it's not, I'm just saying, it appears, we never can be sure that we have nothing, have done nothing wrong with any of it, that uh, um, it's, it, that we're, the town is looking at. The first, the oldest of these two letters that are here were edited and redrafted by uh, town council before we sent that one out. So I'll second it. No, you can't second it because you're running the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no. That's seconded by uh, yeah. Need a vote. Everybody say yes, no? Yeah, need a vote. Need a vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bob? Yes. Mark? Yes. Us? Yes. Sharon's abstaining. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can vote. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so yes, I have one question about that. Um, how do we make sure that doesn't happen again? It's, first of all, is that, that this was kind of a different, this was town property that uh, the town wanted to get the tax dollars for, and, but it was in the, it had wetlands on it. So the town treasurer uh, worked with a surveyor and a wetlands person and had it mapped out. She brought it before us and we accepted the, the thing. They did perk tests on it. In other words, so when she was going to sell it, it was supposedly a buildable lot. But there were no house prints at the time. So the plans that were approved were a lot plan and a surge plan. And supposedly, whoever bought it should have brought the new plans in because that's some of the things we were, I was citing. Uh, that says that if there's any change of a plan, any addition of a plan, any anything, they have to rerun it. Nobody ever came to us with it. 
I'm not sure if anyone ever even came to the, you know, the billing department. But in other words, they uh, completely ignored the order of conditions that that we had written you know, for it, which had all of those the things that I mentioned, the numbers of you know, you can read them all and you see it. Yeah, it was just a complete ignoring of what was there. And then there was a lot of other little things entered into it. The people that bought it uh, didn't even know there was order of conditions written on it until I happened to stop one weekend and ask them you know, what was going on because everything seemed you know, at still. And they said, what do you mean there's an order of conditions? And so we started feeding them some of the paperwork that they should have had from, from day one. So were those two of the lots that were sold at the when the town did the general auction? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I remember those. And they were yeah they were promoted as as yeah. multiple yeah. lots. Yeah. yeah. If I can recall. Yeah. Yeah. So was there an order condition on them when they were purchased or? Did yeah. The, yeah. No, it was there. So shouldn't did that was that recorded? Yeah. So it is recorded. Yeah. That's what they're looking for okay. the certificate for because it's recorded against their deed and yeah. you know and that's not their only problem but that is a a big problem mm -hmm. because the. Uh, and everybody else, you know, are very reluctant to, well, I'm not sure to say, the title people, everybody is, is reluctant to do do anything, so, so we're just... Yeah, the title insurance? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey no, no, no. <laughs> what, what's, what, what's going on? How are the trucks running? Oh, they approved the, uh, the alternate routes, so... Okay. No. <laughs> hey, Mr. Thorne. My NOI in the agenda? No. We have to advertise that first. We well, I understand that. I understand that. Not the yeah. hearing, but yes. Perfect. Yes. It's on discussion. So, um, to stay on track, are you all done with all of that, though, that you yeah. have to talk about for Birch Street? Uh, I believe on that. Yep, yep. That so you're all set on that. that, that, that we need to, like, contact somebody that might be responsible for this, or just let that go? We've, we've had a, a lot of contact with the person who's, you know, the builder and all that. These people are having constant contact that way, and we've been kind of staying on the outside. In fact, what we just voted on, I have told them I, I'd run this by them and their lawyers to make sure this is what they're looking up for us to do. We're mm -hmm. really looking to, you know, let them fight yeah, their well, battle more than that. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the people that did it know it's not, they were, they it's not a hush hush thing. Yeah. From us mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're just that we can't, we're telling them we can't do anything about it, you know, until somebody does all the rest of what has until to be done. Until all the conditions are met, right? There's yeah. a lot of them on there. Yeah. All those yeah. numbers. Yeah. Do you have any further discussion with that? Um, no. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, well, all right. I just I feel like maybe somebody should make sure this person doesn't build like that again. Or, you know. Checks and balances, yeah. Right. So I feel, you know, that is something I think we've had right. conversations well, yeah. in other departments as well is, you know, unfortunately, a lot of times what comes before us is people asking for forgiveness rather than approval. So we certainly, you know, have to do the best that we can as those things are in front of us and make every effort that we can to make sure that they're following the guidelines. I think that's also part of what's supposed to happen here. Right? No checks and balances when it's, exactly. when it's all up and running. So all the departments are talking to each other, so I think that that's great, too, that everybody will know. So at least all the departments are here, you know, talking to each other, and when they hear one thing, that's why, like, Michelle and Tracy, and now Rachel is only been down here for a while. At least they are hearing things now, Board of Health is involved. Hmm. Planning is just upstairs, right? All right. Okay. Alright, so no further discussion about that, we'll skip, we have to get to our 740, uh, we're a little bit behind on that, and then we can get down to the other discussions that you had in there, Well, mm -hmm. does that sound good? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have, let's see, at 740, a notice of intent, 177 Longtuck Street, um, in front of us, and we have a complete, I don't know how you guys do things. Rachel, don't fire me. No, not at all. <laughs> Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you just read this one? Yeah. Well, you don't have to read it. You don't have to read it before when you start? No. no? Oh, okay. So that's how we did it in zoning. Sorry, I'm just getting caught up. This is like 
That's right. literally my second night at your lucky day. Doing good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so a notice of intent um, here for 177 Wampatuck Street, map V8, lot 157 and 139, Collins Civil Engineering. I'm assuming that's you? Yes, uh, Dave Clinton from Collins Civil Engineering. Okay. Could you say your last name again, please? Clinton, it's K-L-E-N-E-R-T. And I have the um, green card still brought to me. So. Mm -hmm. so this is a this is an old house on Old Man Pond, Old and Old Pan Pond. Um, the yellow line is the property line. The orange line is the 50-foot buffer. The green line is the wetland delineated, delineated by Peter Lines. And the blue line is the edge of Old Hay Pond. Um, you can see that the, the wetlands, they, the, the property goes down quite a bit to the pond. It starts at elevation 64 and ends up at 57. So roughly around elevation 57 is a wooded area. And it's, it's wet. It's wet in there. So we delineated some flags in there. Um, it, it is important to know that this has been accepted by the Board of Health. They reviewed it and approved it. We had to ask for a bunch of variances as far as distances off the pond from the SAS and distances off the pond from uh, the tanks as well as distances off the house from the tanks. It's a very tight area. Um, there is a flood elevation of 59. It's kind of in the thicker uh, line type and we stay outside that elevation. We're proposing a concrete brick wall here and this wall will be about one foot to two feet high at the highest. Uh, there's, a, there's a cross section of it right here. Um, we're staying outside the flood ele elevation of 59, and it goes up to an elevation of 61 at the highest point. So, um, about two feet at the highest point. It's, a, it's one of the concrete block walls you see all the time. Um, we are going to propose a sill fence. Uh, it starts here at the steps in the, in the rear, at the side of the property. And it encompasses the whole work area. It goes right up the property that has lined the, the split rail fence. Uh, obviously, anything that's taken out can't be stocked out. There's just no room. So everything that's being taken out has to be shipped off immediately. Uh, the existing septic system is up front here, which will be abandoned. It's hard to see, but it's right about in here. And that will be abandoned. Uh, this is a pump system. It's going to be a mounted system. Uh, it's the best that we can do in, in the location that we have. Uh, there's really no other spot for it that, that would meet the letter of the law, uh, except in this corner right here. Um, if you look at the property, it is in the upland area of the property. It's pretty high there compared to the pond. And we did get a really good perforate. It was two inches per, per minute. So we had a five foot separation to the water table. Which helps protect the drink. They have approved it, yes, with all the variances that we asked for. Unfortunately, it is what it is. So you just abandoned the old tank in there? Yeah, it's a pit, and it pro the pit is probably a lot too. So, I mean, they go down pretty deep. So, yeah. we're actually improving the site by bringing our system five feet above the highest. Now they're the table. So, you're going to have to remove and replace. So yeah, all it's going to be removed and replaced. Yeah. And we have facilitation barrier? Uh, it is a, I have a detail of it here. Um, right here. Uh, Silt so uh, 18 inch diameter. Was, can or can the trees are along the, uh, the shore, are those all going to stay there? Those are all going to stay there. Yeah. We won't come any closer than 35 feet to the left <laughs> with our silt saw. And uh, it looks like um, 51 feet to the septic system. Is this um, the system? Is this what type of system is it? Is it a jet flow or no? It's just a regular system. Uh, it would it would it would you know that you would use on a gravity feed. Okay. Uh, but we're using pump. a pump because it's up high, uh, and they're uh, Caltech contractors C4s. So they're just oval plastic PVC. Okay. So uh, is there the any maintenance type of plan? Or no, there's no no. This is the only maintenance will be that. Um, 
to keep the electricity going. Well, that's well, that was my sort of my question. So if we lose electricity, they lose. Title five requires, uh, uh, I think, fifteen hundred gallons uh, of uh, storage. Is it alarmed? so? Is it alarmed in the house? Yes, it will be alarmed in the house. Yeah. Is there two tanks? Is there a storage tank? Uh, yeah, there'll be a uh, the, the the pump tank itself will be the storage tank. Okay. If the electricity goes out, uh, the fifteen hundred gallons usually gives you about a week worth of storage uh, before they have to claim for it. Okay. And how many bedrooms is that system? Uh, this is three bedroom, and a three bedroom is minimum design for it. So, uh, any questions? I don't see anybody here to ask any questions. Mm -hmm. Move or close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Move uh, to build and record in the plan with our normal uh, conditions and all on there. And that when the soul stock is in, that I'd be notified. Okay. okay. And then, next question for this, Rachel. Please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office at the DPP assistance. Yeah. 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 Can you get us the vote on the registry? Oh, and so am I doing that, Patrick? Or does somebody else have to make that motion? Oh, I already made the motion. Can okay. okay. we go in accordance with the plan? Okay. And add the normal boilerplate and what he just said. So that's what we're going to vote on right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. Yep. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll get with the system here. It's just a little bit different from the cell phone. So. Yeah, we're moving along. So that's the good news. Um, okay. So do you want to continue with some of your discussions here? Yeah. The notice yeah, of intent. One, one left. Yep. So notice. Okay. It says notice of intent for higher seating in London Square, but we couldn't hold any hearings because it hasn't been advertised for the correct amount of time uh, we're going to be trying to get it packaged in as tight an area as we can because we should if we're going to hydro seed the ideal hydro seeding is 15th of September through the 15th of October so that's really what we're trying to push we could have should have should have done this a month ago but because of everything else we didn't it didn't happen, but this is hydro seeding the well, also parks, you know, but up at Lovers Ford is an area that we feel the grass hasn't come in as good as it should. So we want to see hydro seed it back in. It's on the hillside coming down to the uh, towards the river. Was there some work done there? Because I'm trying to get cover to yeah. speed that too. So what yeah. was uh, we did there, there's been work going on off and on over the, the years there and Improving it last uh, spring, we did, they did some work. DPW had time. It's usually uh, whenever they have time, they get in there. And they did some work, brought some loam in, did some leveling of some of the area, cut some trees, uh, and then we got into some problems because we were working within the North River yeah. area without asking mm -hmm. their approval first. Uh, we had in other years, but we, uh, we were wrong. We try to straighten out, and this hydro seeding is part of the project that kind of got stopped in the in, in the, the in the middle of it and so the grass isn't growing as the way it should and we feel that mm -hmm. it should be brought up because it's an area that's gets a lot of traffic and all and, and this is the one too that Ed Thorne yeah, yeah, Ed Thorne is, okay. is the uh, head point person, head point right person, person on that. Right. Mm -hmm. Are there many partners with Clinton and Trisa? Uh, there's, a, there's a lot more going on up there uh, this is only like like step one of of many of many steps that are coming. I think the first question said that they need to be planned immediately. That's not what we got from it. Right. Yeah, I didn't. That's what I thought. I had it heard was, too that they it, didn't require it. The growth had grown back enough. They were satisfied with that. He met with. I can't think of the gentleman, Steve. Yeah. I can't think of the gentleman's last name. I just, I just, I Iverson. 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 And the last part of the conversation was to let things the way they are or hire a company to come in and remove all the invasive species. That was for the invasive species part, but we were just talking about the trees that were cut down. We've heard nothing about replanting. No, he was halted to replant them and they decided there were going to be 10 trees and 
Um, well, we, honestly, we I have today set a letter or, or something. There's nothing. There's an informal um, hearing, so I don't know. What the Who I'm, said it? I'm Who just going with what Ed told us. Right. Yeah, we, Ed, Ed, Ed hasn't said anything about that. He's been doing all He's of the direct communications with the North River people and all. Yeah. We have had nothing to do with it. It's all gone through Ed. Yeah, so if this yeah. has nothing to do with our department here, then I hate to say bump or bumping it up, but I mean, if Ed's the one that's in charge of that. Um, I'll, che I'll check with Ed tomorrow and find out if anybody, I know we have said it. Yeah, the last one I heard was that they had said that we could trim back trim the trees back at, the at, the, at the edge of the bridge that had a, and cut the, uh, cut the, the vine. lines in the in the trees and and leave the rest of it the way it was because it was yep. it was coming back. That was the last time thing I heard. Yeah, it had to do with trees. But something like that, just as a you know a clarification for me, we should we should get a, a letter or something stating that if, there's yeah. an expectation to do something right as opposed to well, it's actually mm -hmm. not it's not this board. Yeah, it's not with us. It's okay. the DPW has actually got the money to do the work there. Okay, but we are waiting for orders from Ed to do the work. Right, because it, it was a we're just, we're just kind of between yeah. where the permitting part, or in other words, DPW may be doing the hydro seeding, but they need a permit to do it, and the permits from both us and the North River. Though I'm not sure that we have to. That's what I'm looking into it right now. Yeah, I don't know. North River might be able to do it without mm -hmm. us because they have jurisdiction over the first hundred feet entirely. Mm. But it's all how you read it. It's 300, isn't it? 200? Well, it's 300. Oh, 300. But yeah. the first 100 is uh, is God's land as far as the North <laughs> River is concerned. I mean, as far as I know, we were told we can mow it yep. to try to keep the invasive species down, which mm -hmm. is the uh, not weed. Mm -hmm. And that's all the DPW has been doing, is doing the mowing. We haven't done any work there yeah. since, and I wait to get my orders from Mr. Thorne upstairs. Okay. Are you part of the North River one too? Is it? No, you're not on that one. Um, I didn't see any of those meetings, but I do recall Ed saying that he was. I think it was everything was in transition here, maybe, and then Ed went to the meetings. It was I, July 27th that meeting. Yeah. It's not kind of time as you can walk it. Okay, perfect. I will get myself caught up to speed then on that one. So, is there any further discussion about that, or anything no, that we need to do just for the week? No, we're we're, we're in a waiting move and trying to. I'm, try, I'm trying to find out whether, that if we're only working within 100 feet, but no, we're beyond 100 feet. For the, the hydro scene, we're, yeah. we're within 50 to 150 feet. Yeah, Is it, it, it was only in the 100 foot off the river, then the yeah. river might be able to just do it without our okay, but once it gets beyond 100, then it becomes a joint, yeah. a joint issue for the, for the next 100, and the last 100 is there. It's, yeah. So who would have to file this notice of intent? Ed is. Ed is, Ed is, Ed is already filed. Oh, he already filed. Yeah, he's filed. Okay. We just yeah. didn't get it. Didn't get advertised. It didn't get advertised. Okay. Now we have to speed us. Are there any issues with hydro seeding that we need to look at or think about? I can't wait. Are there any issues any. with hydro seeding that might be good for the river or bad for the river? I don't know. This is what they've recommended to us. I right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's 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 the the word he got from North River. The North, the hydro seed became North River Commission. Yeah. So that's if that's what they wanted. That. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They wanted that that section mm -hmm. regressed. They didn't necessarily. They, they didn't necessarily hydro seed, hydro but, seed, but it needs to it have more vegetation. Yeah, hydro seed your best shot to hold that, to mm -hmm. hold the bank, which the bank has them washed, but. Especially this time of year, anyways, right? Yeah. Don't you think? I mean. Well, ideally, the hydro seed would be better off holding off till. Later on, as close yeah. to the end as we can because we're not going to be able to water it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, this after the 15th of September, up until the time you get a good frost. Yeah, yeah. The, fall's, yeah. the fall is best, yeah. right? Yeah. All that stuff? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's coming into a good time, but still, we need to make sure we get all our paperwork done yep. so we can get it done in that, mm -hmm. that same window. Was your question more really like, are there any chemicals or anything like that mixed in with the seed? Well, yeah, I was just wondering, if, if, yeah. is there an alternative, or do we need to worry about it? Or? I don't know the answer to that question about hydro seed. I, I, I think know, it's just seed and... I know a lot of, even what the state does, even when they hold the retention areas, yeah. they're really using a blanket for the hydro seed mm -hmm. to hold the hill. Yeah, the cellulose is mixed in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
There's no fertilizer, I don't think, in there. You can you can add it or you can yeah. keep it out. Yeah. yeah. And we'll just I don't think that would be their only issue if there was yeah. fertilizer. We'll just tell Danny to, to leave it out when he shoots it, that's mm -hmm. all. Yeah, isn't it just, it's just sort of... It's a paper mulch. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that, do you have further discussion about that? Is that right? Okay, perfect. Any other discussions about that? About the hydro seeding? I don't, I don't have any questions myself. We don't have to vote on anything here, right? Just, we just, we discussed it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bridget, you got anything we need to talk about? Everything has been signed. I move we close. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Look at that. Yeah. Nice.